let's show you what happened in this one. As Mary Murphy said, it's amazing what a fresh start for a team can do. Pac-12 coach of the year, Charlie Turner Thorne, and Arizona State taking on the Pac-12 freshman of the year, Christine Anigwe, mm. and the Bears. Anigwe, early on, they couldn't stop her. Started inside. The defense wasn't physical enough inside. The help side wasn't there early enough often, and the pressure on the ball was not intense enough. And they were there, but... ASU's defense did not make Cal, and Great especially call, Anigwe, Great call. feel them. She no was, pressure on that ball, baby. Four for four from the field in the first half. Ten points, five rebounds. A little bit later, Courtney Range getting in on the fun. Cal up five at the half, loving the smiles. Third quarter, and you pointed this out in the touchdown room. Asia Thomas, the first two times against ASU? Nothing. One for ten. I mean, just couldn't find herself at all. And today she was having a career-high blast. Six to seven from the field. Four to three from downtown. Third quarter now. Lily Davis trying to get the Sun Devils back Ooh. in this one. They cut it to two, but then Anigwe makes a tough shot and one. So Bears up seven after the made free throw. Uh, this is a heartbreaker. But check this out. Another ASU body yep. on the floor. If you could do a tally count of bodies on the floor for ASU, it would just be crazy. The toughness was brought by Cal. Panina Davidson was phenomenal. 7-8 yes. from the floor, 17 points. Anigwe, she was fantastic. 10 of 11 from the floor in this one. 24 points, 11 rebounds. Her 13th double-double of the year. And how about it? Davidson and Anigwe combined 17 of 19 from the floor before they both fouled out late. And this is, by the way, against the best defense in the Pac-12. They normally only give up 56 points per game. Today, they give up 75. 69% from the field. That is a Pac-12 tournament record.